Welcome to the Louisiana Outdoor Experience. So, I was supposed to go fishing today. And I sat there, I woke up this morning and says, Nah, I'm not going fishing. So, I decided to do it. We're going to talk about what I carry when I go in the woods. In my Badlands Pursuit Pack. And my Badlands Bino Harness. That's right, I carry... I wear a bino harness and I carry a pack. Uh, the reason I carry, I have both the pack and the bino harness is if I'm in a, I, we have a few stands that are really tight when you get in them, as in the bino harness is sitting on my chest like this and, I'm, and it's actually sitting up because of the, the gun rail on the stand. Uh, this just makes it so much easier to get in and out of them tight stands that I can carry and I still have all my essential gear in the bino harness. Make sure you find us on Instagram, Facebook, uh, and stick around till the end of this because we're going to be having a special announcement for Fishermen for a Cause. If you're new to bow hunting or just kind of want to know what everybody carries in their pack, let's talk about it. I was going to film this video the middle of September. But, we all know how that went. Hurricane Ida kind of came in and messed everything up. So I'm about a month late. It's the beginning of October right now. I haven't made my first bow hunt. But I want to talk about what I carry in my pack. Good ideas to carry in the packs. So, I actually carry a Badlands Pursuit pack. And the Badlands Bino XR pack. I'm going to start off with this just to show you got mag magnets on it. I keep my rangefinder, a monocular, and the binos packs are actually designed to hold binoculars, but my binoculars are too large to fit in here, so I don't. In the bottom here, where the rangefinder should go, I carry a flashlight. Everything's tethered in here. The side pocket here, I carry a, if I can get it out, a fire starter. Not too worried about having to start a fire when I'm on the private land I hunt. But if I'm on public, somewhere I've never been, or if, or for when I start hunting out west, it's always good to have a little bit of survival equipment. Um, during rifle season, I use this one. So when I unload my rifle, I put all my bullets in here so I know where they are. I don't carry anything in the back pouch, but a lot of times... When I open this, I'll take my binocular and kind of just tuck it back behind here so it's sitting here and I can just grab it instead of having to open it. One trick with the range finder I've found is instead of ranging an animal when they come out, I range certain areas that I can see. So let's talk about what I carry in my pack. I normally keep a in this front part here is where I normally store my camera gear, or some of my camera gear. And I normally take the straps and strap tripod for my camera in it, so there's nothing in these pockets. The main pocket here, I normally keep a bottle of water and my snacks in here. They have a zippered part in the pocket. And in the zippered part, I keep a spare flashlight. That needs new batteries. It's another thing. Before season starts, make sure everything works. Um, I also keep, keep a charger, the charger, so I don't lose it in there. And that's for my thermocell uh, radius. In this back part, I got another pouch in here. I keep a spare four-wheeler key. And I also keep my... I also keep a camera arm for whenever I film in an open ladder stand. They have a side pocket on each side, so in this side pocket I keep a tourniquet and some quick clot gauze. A little bit on why I carry a tourniquet is because this one is a, I can use one hand to deploy tourniquet. Um, if something happens, you know, I fall, I get shot, um, I can at least turn a kid off an arm, a leg, something, and at least make it out the woods. The 
quick cut cause is also just to stop the bleeding. And I keep spare thermosel refills. Oh, I forgot to mention, I carry a book with me in the stand too. For reading. The other side pocket, if I can find the zipper there, carry my thermosel in there. Zip ties. This here is probably one of the most versatile little extras I keep in my pack, and I use them a lot. They also got some bolts for something rattling around in there. And this one is a the thermocell radius. The cartridge in the radius will last for 48 hours of runtime. Um, it carries 120 square feet. The little cartridge just goes in there. It's scentless, odorless, but what I like about this one, this one's only like 10, 15 square feet. This is 120 square feet. I don't have to worry about a mosquito getting me. And you ask, why this one as opposed to this one? So I carry this for if I'm in a box stand, um, early rifle season, or, or in a ladder stand with a good foot, a good bottom of it. If I'm not in it, this one I can take and I normally hang the we all of my open stands have a hanger for it so I'll either clip it here on the back and let it hang or I can also clip it on the little molly straps they got I guess I guess that's what you call it they got little straps on it um, so if you have any questions about the gear, I pretty much tried to explain as best I could why I carry everything. Um, just ask. So, in closing, make sure you hit that subscribe button, especially if you'd like to learn more on the Badlands Pursuit Pack or the Bino XR Harness. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see, what you want me to try out. If you see something in any of my videos that you have questions about. Also, I just want to get y'all thoughts. I'm going to make... A video about the production of a video I don't know if y'all are curious in seeing that let me know in the comments below if, if that's something y'all would like to see to see what actually goes into this um, fishing videos especially in South Louisiana are real simple um, to film a lot of times you might have four or five hours on the water and get a 30 minute video last deer season I filmed for probably, a, I had about 20 to 30 hours of film. And not that it wasn't usable, but it was great B-roll for the season. And that just never happened. I didn't get to make a kill last year. Not for lack of trying. It's just, I, I don't shoot does normally because my wife don't eat wild game. And some merch coming soon. Make sure that Insta you got that Instagram and Facebook so you don't miss out. And I'll definitely make a short when it comes out on here. See you then.